In this video, we will be explaining autonomous specification and conditional specification. In autonomous specification, cells will become specified according to the determinants received from the embryo regardless of their environment. Here we are showing autonomous specification in an early tunicate embryo. The ectoderm is shown in blue. The notochord is shown in purple. The muscle and mesenchyme are shown in red and the endoderm is shown in yellow. Each sphere represents one blastomere pair. When the four blastomere pairs of the eight cell embryo are dissociated, each forms structures that they would have normally formed if they had remained in the embryo. In this image, the ectoderm has formed from the two blue blastomere pairs. Here, the blastial pair on the bottom left gave rise to the notochord and the endoderm. Lastly, the mesenchyme, muscle, and endoderm have risen from the blastomere pair on the bottom right. In conditional specification, cell fate is dependent upon interactions with neighboring cells in the environment. Here, we are showing conditional specification in an embryo. Normal back cells are shown here in red. If normal development were to proceed, the back cells would continue on to form the back tissue. Now, let's transplant these normal back cells to the belly region. As a result, these cells undergo conditional specification to form the belly tissue. Summary Autonomous specification takes place independently of interactions with the surrounding cellular environment and depends on the segregation of specific factors responsible for cell specialization. This means that if a particular cell gets removed from an early embryo, the isolated cell will produce the same cell types that it would have normally made if it were still part of the embryo. In conditional specification, interactions of a cell with surrounding cells of the environment can restrict the fate of that cell. How a cell becomes specialized is dependent upon the conditions in which the cell finds itself. In other words, if a cell is removed from an early embryo, the remaining embryonic cells will alter their differentiation pathway to compensate for the loss of that cell type and function. Thanks for watching.